Yo, it's good. It's Big Lou, the biggest, and I'm back with a new video. Today, I'm breaking down how I add texture in my samples, how you can add texture in your samples and stuff. Um, and yeah, here's the final sample. I'll play it now. Yeah, so that's pretty much the final sample. I made this sample this morning and yeah, I'll break it down now. So the first sound is this wing upright piano from Omnisphere. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just a basic one or the wing upright mono dark. And I played these chords that I got from rip chord. And as you can see, they don't hit on the grid. They hit slightly off to add a bit of bounce and groove. And it's just what the piano sounds like by itself. Yeah, and for the effects for the piano, I added H delay, which I'll get into in a second. Guitar gadgets, it's some free guitar. Uh, it's kind of like guitar rig, but free. I don't know, it's alright. It's cool, it's free, so um and free chorus and no eq and so with the h delay if you had seen my last week's video on nami and coop how i did the h delay trick i'd figured out a better way to do it and so what you do is you create an automation clip for the delay time then you come up here then um and then you get like a basic automation clip you'd come up here articulator tools um create sequence and then down here you'd click randomize and then from that it randomizes the automation as you can see here like I did it for two instruments so that's why there's two instances of it um but like it's randomized and then from there you can tweak it however you want um you can use also that trick on other effects like your portal or any other effect you can think of and it just creates super like adds a lot of texture to your sample so that's why you can hear like the delay going like super quick and down below like down like slows it down and stuff i don't know then the next sound is just like ukulele from one of 444's kits um and all i did was play the same notes as a piano just like arpeggiated it and for the first is this first half the second half is just pitched up an octave and this is just what that sounds like And as you can probably tell, it doesn't hit where the piano hits. Just I wanted to leave space for when the piano hits. Some of them do, but some of them don't. I wanted to leave space for when the piano hits and give room for when the guitar hits. Um, I don't know, just thought it sounded cool in my opinion. And for that, I added a fruity delay, which I did the same thing. I just wanted to use a different delay to see if I could get a different sound. Um, fruity flangus with the spread and delay turned up i went through all the presets and i just turned the spread all the way down and messed with the wet knob uh guitar gadgets um just with the mix turned down a bit reverb and eq to cut out these frequencies and stuff um then the next sound was this like another guitar just playing one note as like a accent type thing once again from 44 floor and all it's doing is playing the A sharp note and this is just what it sounds like. Yeah, so just playing one note with like hella delay on it and all I did was add this fruity flangus once again going through all the presets and turning the spread down. Uh, guitar gadgets for out of space preset 
shape the box to make it pan left and right. Um, and I think the guitar gadget is what added the delay and no EQ. Then the next sound, once again, from 44 floor one shot kit, uh, is this crystal. It's called crystal and it's playing these notes. And I added like a sli a sliding down note to a couple of them. And this is just what it sounds like. And for the effects for that one. Okay, psych. The the effects I went through before was for the sound I just played. So the flangers, guitar gadgets, and the shaper box was for the sound, the lead type sound I just played. And for the sound I played before, the guitar one hit was this Ovox. Um, I was tweaking around with the settings a bit, going through the presets and all that. And then H delay, which gave it the long, super, super long delay and no EQ. Sorry if that sounds confusing, my bad. Then I added this perk loop, once again from 44 floor, one shot kit, um, and it's just what it sounds like. Yeah, so no effects on that, just put it in time. And then later in the sample, you guys didn't hear it, but there's like a sort of switch up where I take the keys out and I replace it with the sign pad. And the sign is from, I think, Pod by Tires, one of his kits or something. And it's playing the exact same notes as a piano. And this is just what um, that sounds like. Yeah, so super, I don't know, it, it, it switched it up a bit, changed the vibe up a bit. And for the effects, just echo melt the basic preset and I just turned the echo off and then shape a box with the uh, I went into the time preset and then um, I just added this it's kind of like a rewind tape stop type thing effect and no EQ um, and so yeah that's pretty much it for the sample pitched it um, bounced it bounced it out pitched it down three semitones as usual my mastering chain uh, this effect track, the basic vintage punch, J37, some like side chain type thing, uh, mid side matrix, make it sound more mono, um, and then an EQ to cut out the highs, leave room for the artist, and some lows, low mids to lows and stuff. Let me know if you guys want like a mixer preset kit, because I was thinking about it the other day and i feel like i should drop it for you i don't know how it's just a thought i had I haven't really put too much consideration into it but but yeah let me know if you guys want that follow me on instagram and all that at louis oblin peace and stay safe